Okay. Hi everyone. This is K6 X-ray Oscar X-ray. Cause I'm from California, which is I used to live there in Cupertino, California. And I reside to Thailand, which is my cause in Thailand is Hotel Sira One India Frog Tot Uniform. Kinda obvious because this one is a cannot be vanity consign. In Thailand, we don't have the vanity uh, regulation like in US. This is K6 XOX, which is a vanity consign that I got when they I passed the generals. I didn't I didn't go for extra because it's no use in Thailand. I got the extra class in Thailand Hotel Zero One India Fox uniform. So okay, let's get back to it. And this is the um, ESP8266, which is a Wi-Fi and the embed, and on board with the uh, OLED, organic LED. So, first of all, I have to give the credit to the team, which is called the India Get Team Project, and. Um, I don't know who was leading the project, but and uh, Echo Two Seven Alpha Sierra Victor is the one uh, post the uh, information on the website, which is where I'm gonna show you guys later. And forgive me if my English speaking maybe not or maybe wrong pronunciation. So because I reside back from US to Thailand almost seven year now which is year 2013 I back to Thailand so seven year I never I'm hardly speak English so my English speaking might be pronunciation wrong sometime please uh, forgive me for that okay so I got this board from um, not yet let's get to it okay so as you can see in here I said Wi-Fi APIS I get built in part one it means I'm gonna show you in three part because it's quite long for one part you might get boring so the first part is to get the um, the main concept so um, I'm gonna show you the um, the basic of the uh, this project which is have the uh, visual diagram here and as you can see in here we have the first part here is the Arduino Pro Mini and this is the modem or you can call TNC terminal node controller so I like to use a modem because you know it's, it's like a common term we used to back in the old day and this is a modem very important to understand this is I get which is separate in two part and some people ask how come you guys never combine combine them together? Well, the memory is not enough. I build the tracker with one chip. Yeah, you can do that, but it's very hard to optimize everything in one chip because this is only 2K. So, and the person who wrote this software, it might not know how to make the packet AX25, which is not that easy to get AFSK you know audio frequency chip keep chip keying which is uh, have dual tone 1200 and 2200 tone to be 0 and 1 uh, logic okay here they have a modem and modem send RXTX to this chip this chip will proceed whatever they plug in sensor for pressure temperature humidity and this is have the buzzer beep beep and uh, switch this one you can use switch or you can use this one same thing and 10k here and the LDR for you know um, 
for the light it's basic you know they don't use the expensive sensor so they they, they make the eye gate like um, combined with the weather station it, it's okay I mean to check whatever because we put this one in the box and place into the uh, the repeater station pressing somewhere so we can check the temperature and whatever so as a block diagram we call the virtual diagram which is why you guys can ask me you say how come you make this the uh, picture like that because you know not all the ham in Thailand they well educated so they have so many people in the countryside they just buy it and put back together because the main reason I want to have many ham in Thailand to you know uh, spread the news to get APIS and we get the the network of the ham radio on APIS so we can have a lot of things benefit on that like search and rescue you know and uh, fire or you know early warning stuff like that so I'll build that kind of project later on but we need to have the eye get spread around the country it's same like in US but in Thailand we we're not the third world country but we still develop country you know okay here the uh, the the I don't know more them I'm gonna explain later on in part two so then we can put together in part three and then so the in, in part one here you can talk about how to buy this guy and you know get program it this um the way how to program this guy is kind of tricky and you might not some people know how to program on this one use the IDE you know with the uh, sort code in there so the reason we don't use that one because that's what I said the one main reason is the person who make the uh, firmware they don't want to share his knowledge because he spent a long time to get the software done it's a lot of work yeah so they give the binary file to just fresh them to the ship so today I'm gonna talking about the first to get this board from China and where we get from Alibaba Aliexpress and you guys will ask me wait why why you have this one and this the uh, building the OLED well you know I try to make it very compact and I bought this one from China so we used to have um, one the ESP or node or we can call node MCU yeah we have different this one I'm sure you why that's the reason behind that so this is how the board look like when we get from China they come with like this and as you can see this is a 3-1 this chip is power supplied by 3-1 which is they have a 3-pin power regulator behind this board and supplied with 5-1 RXTX is no problem so to be more convenient for the regular people or non-programming some ham yeah we live in Silicon Valley we have a many people like 7 or 80 percent is how know how to program but many people here don't know they just know how to plug in like us you know the phone and here we have a USB 2.0 which is um, this one is a small for same as the uh, Android phone and we have two but but here is for reset and but here is a boot and we have to use these two button uh, in terms of the flashing and well this board originally made by Wemos I don't know this from US Wemos or Chinese Wemos but as you know Chinese always um, they call CND copy and development and they make it cheap cheaper real cheap so this one become is so cheap so how cheap is that let's see um, I'm gonna show you on here this is a way this is so place that I, I order from it's Aliexpress and five dollar 88 but one cheap cheap huh 
include the LCD and they got shipping costs from China to Thailand <laughs> cost almost the same so basically they can sell 8 bucks 8 bucks in 9 dollars is about 300 baht in Thailand still cheap you know so as you can see they come with this 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 and here in the behind this one you can see they have um, this is a regulator and uh, you don't need to jump anything on the address because and they're gonna give you the firmware that the those the team here or they have here they already programmed for this panel so this is a size 6.1 centimeter <laughs> and you can see the use the inch and or 2.4 inch if you are in US and 1 inch wide and the long is 2 inch very compact and convenient I can tell you that so the main reason why okay I show you why I try to recommend on this one If you have a chance to connect this using I square C, which is they have the SCL SDA. So take a look at this one. What a difference! Ground VCC, VCC and ground. So this one, which one is correct? Huh? The correct one standards is ground and VCC SEL SDA and this one is non-standard I don't know why I got this OLD from when I ordered the hotspot for DMR and I took it out <laughs> and I didn't look I put this one when the first project when I put this one there everything is chopped and wanted is dropped so I got big problem and it's and then I found this is aha moment <laughs> okay well that's it and that is the reason why I use this board and the reason why I use this for uh, combine together in what I call that combo ah, this might be the right word combo okay let's flash them so okay first of all I need to give you information about the the size that we can get information this is a Google size uh, Google Drive basically it's a shared drive and those team they put it up and because we have the um, Amateur Radio Society of Thailand, we call RAS Radio Amateur Society of Thailand. So, so we make we own, um, you know, to help the APIS community by put one of the server, uh, and you can see this information. You can look into the status to the uh, Linux server that we have. Yeah, we have here we give the ID HS0 Alpha Charlie so this is so we can take a look at who is uh, logging at our port this is standard 14580 and we get the uh, all kind of firmware so like this one the Poland you know and ESP so it's quite popular now for us to um, have this um, project around the Thailand so I used to drive around Thailand with no iGAN, so it's not used at all. We have my own 3G network in the car, so we have my iGAN follow me around, which does not make any sense. Okay, back in here. So we have the website we call APS and Indie. You know, I I believe this guy they love their movie, Indiana Jones or something like that. They want to be like Indie, and in here we click the circuit and firmware so those guys they post all information all you want see 
we have the eye gate which is have much a feature like you know PM 2.5 PM 1 PM 10 whatever you want and we put all kind of stuff they love to put they, <laughs> they love to have a lot of things and we have firmware for that and as I can tell you here you put OLED in here and you get a problem like I showed you earlier try to less minimum wire and come to this one yeah this is a one I recommend and you put the firmware here and once you download everything firmware next you go to scroll down and you click here firmware someone some people already know how to fetch EST ESP8266 so it's okay and we put all the firm all the software here you can download you click here at the firmware and then oh okay when you open the firmware here and you can have the uh, in the I get version 234 well this one I only uh, explain how to make the I get but you can make the hybrid huh it's not like a POS hybrid it mean you can make the I get and the tracker you have a switch you, know, you can set okay we need the firmware click here so you can download the firmware just in case in your hard drive in local drive just in case someday <laughs> the Google Drive it delete them all you never know so and you need to download ESP8266 fresher dot R A R and you need this one Termite dot IR it means termite is a terminal program dumb terminal for connecting or sending the command via the um, serial port okay we only need this one uh, Hercules maybe I don't know it's the same as the termite but it's termite is much easier or you can study whatever you want but in Thai in document is in Thai website in Thai never mer <laughs> never mind for you guys it doesn't matter so you guys can use the Google translation so the uh, like this one we have the uh, uh, detail so I sudo this guy because they have all the logbook for start from the version 1 until today it's today is uh, 4.2 D they have the they have the YouTube to explain but not very detailed I seen that so and I try to ask them and they're not really good to explain anything okay after you download ES, ESP8266 fracture when you break out the file you will see this 345 but the only file that you need this one the uh, fracture application file so double click on this one run it and voila you got this one okay I put side by side so you can see um, this board when you plug in I still using window 8 window 8 9 10 and when you plug this USB with this board they always give you COM5 this is what I found out when I plug in so many computer it's kinda cool you know and then we need to flash them so we set COM5 and we click binary file 
we go looking for binary file somewhere which is I have in here um, <coughs> fratching ESP oh sorry uh, okay I found this file so let's see this file is it's the same as the uh, the graphic I showed you earlier. This is a uh, version 4.2 a version 20 and 9.6 built-in with RAN sensor. It doesn't matter if you don't have a sensor, they they recognize by itself. Yes. and then we click open. It should have been here already, and we have a download. So the trick is when you click download, you have to press this two button reset boot reset boot until the show on the screen I click download reset boot ah, see they are flashing and uh, if you see in board you can see the light blue light and you wait here until 100 I cannot maximize this is the fix they're probably writing by use Visual Basic or Visual C. But simple enough, it works. Very easy. They have the ESP8266 they have from, um, you know, manufacturing. They have a software to download, but it's so complicated. They have so many settings. This was you don't need to set because we fashion to start from address zero. So we don't have a need. We don't need to use a bootloader we use everything in there so why I'm talking here is already 99 100 so don't worry about this one they fail but you see on the screen this already boot wow exit points is on see in the I get version 2.4.2 I get on so now we we don't need this one anymore we close them and now we need termite termite that we download earlier and we go to here see com5 9600 and click ok so you get termite here so nothing happened on the screen no problem we click reset so I try to get this one back to um, what they call it the factory factory um, reset hold on just a minute so I got factory reset on this board now so I can show you step by step right I got factory the and then I'm reset boom and on the screen you need to hit question mark real quick so to get on the uh, configuration mode Okay, everything back to the factory defaults, and then on this screen you need to hit the question mark real quick, so you get to the uh, configuration. Okay. After you get this one, you get a command here. So you need to set one by one. That is a pain. But the first is you need to set on this one, the Wi-Fi. So I set on my Wi-Fi. Be careful this one because the case sensitive. I have my Wi-Fi SSID is 
H is one. I F U. Boom. See? Okay now. And then I need to set on the password. Wi-Fi password. W F is do not beep with I T H it. Hmm. So this is Wi-Fi password. And then I need to set the static IP. So I don't want to have the uh, dynamic IP they give me because I don't want to guess them. And normally this one dot twenty two. Okay. So after that you do restart. The bot will restart as you see on the screen. See, back to welcome again. And then we're gonna look at the uh, IP, the use command in a, see, they, they're not, they not have the address that what we want to go on the web interface or web browser yet. So, they need to connect to connect to the uh, um, web browser, oh, sorry, to the Hi-Fi Wi-Fi hotspot, the one I have. So, so let the uh, this bot connect first. See now they try to connect. It's just one I F U S S I D and the passcode. Do not beep with it. And then one, they already connect. Then server zero because I haven't set the server yet. Now, okay, I'm gonna log into the web browser. One eight one and dot twelve twenty two. So it should access to. Uh, the web browser now see we have here so we the first we only need to get the the same in the network and the rest we can just into to the box it's much easier because and uh, we need this one um, most of the time I use most of the time they recommend to use a rotate so they switch around and uh, if you are you know but you don't want to rotate I use Asian you know and part is for X this is a standard for the Linux part and this is a very important I'm gonna use the K6 K6 X O X okay and this is filter. You want to filter only Hotel Sierra or Echo 2. You don't need to put this one. You can put K6 or whatever in US. And I put um, the and latitude and longitude. And this one I highlight is this is a symbol. You can put whatever you want. I put the uh, let's see. I put the plus in here. Uh, and this is a comment you know you know k6 yeah uh, I get okay now we get back to here and we're gonna set it up on here to be the Asian and pot is one four and don't forget the call sign you know k6 xox that 13 you can put in here and latitude longitude and i put plus in here and then i put comment you know i get and then I save first 
it take a while because it's access through the uh, Wi-Fi it take a few okay when it done it will show save ok and we click back now you see this one fail it doesn't matter because sometimes they show in it's too quick when I click refresh and then okay now see everything log in the first we need is to connect to the same network so I can access via the uh, the Chrome the web browser so they put so many details and some of them in time sorry but you you probably can be guesses and then you can update the firmware in the future just click here or you can connect to the board which is exit point with this IP or you can send message how cool is that to your friend ah. see send via a internet or IF see status to see how um, you are your board decoder and you get back to look in the screen you can see my call sign is already there in the screen right well if you look in here you can see the I get is on and because we don't have anything here yet because we don't have a modem we don't have a TNC called plug-in and this one called node MCU see how cool is that this is come in so let's see what else we need to set it up in the setup mode we get this one we get call sign that 13 we get Wi-Fi get K6 that 13 we have the uh, latitude longitude and oh I forgot to put the uh, the symbol and the rest should be okay save okay after we save we go back to this page and then we take a look on the map K6XOX that 13 uh oh not here yet why everything okay now when I hit the restart and all the setup should be okay we recap a little bit and don't forget to put Y1 kit 1 okay so if everything okay setup correct it should come back to this screen and then you're good to go now this is a finish of the first part okay so the next one we're gonna build the modem so I'm gonna looking for the uh, Arduino Pro Mini oh before I go and um, I want to have I want to show you something so you see this one right this is a ESP Wemos and the other one is the same this one is a billion too this is more expensive but it doesn't work don't buy it okay because this is the broom made by the Nana com another company don't 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 buy the wrong one this is not working okay <laughs> and if you want to buy this one or you have in the market in your local market or in your stock this one work too and work pretty good and to reminder you know be careful with this two guy is you know Tony growl growl VCC you know some um, kind of like weird okay this is the first part of the I get 
thank you very much and um, we're gonna go for build pro mini later on